food is so important to me. It's my passion, my career, and my livelihood. I'm a father as well as a chef, and I know how important nutrition really is when you're bringing up children. And when food is in dire shortage, it's always babies and children who suffer first. Three and a half million children still die every single year from hunger and related causes. We sometimes hear of their suffering during humanitarian crisis, but for most, hunger is an everyday part of their life, which never hits the headlines. Imagine if we had to contemplate every single year that our children may not survive because we could not feed them. It's a dreadful thought. In West Pakot in Kenya, there are periods of hunger every year when crop reserves are exhausted between harvests and families struggle to make ends meet. It's known as the hunger season. Chepa Sokol has already lost her daughter to malnutrition because she couldn't access the right treatment in time and now her baby boy may be dying too. But Coria has been suffering with diarrhea, vomiting and a fever. His face and limbs are swollen and he's in real pain. Fortunately, Chepa Sokol managed to get him to the Action Against Hunger Health Centre and now he's receiving the vital treatment he needs to make a full recovery. Raising awareness of the health services available is crucial to make sure these children get treatment on time. If Chepa Sokol had known about the help available, her daughter would have had a real chance of survival. Action Against Hunger's community health workers play a vital role in raising awareness. They visit families in villages to diagnose malnutrition and explain what help is on offer. They also make referrals and support children throughout their recovery and beyond. Action Against Hunger has provided life-saving treatment for over a decade in Kenya for malnourished children. But some families still face major barriers getting to that vital help, like long distances. Nancy's seven-month-old twin daughters, Joylene and Belinda, are both suffering from severe acute malnutrition. Every week she carries them for six hours in the blistering heat to the health centre where she collects their supply of ready-to-use therapeutic foods and has them weighed and measured. She does it to keep her babies alive, but not all mothers have the means to make such a trip with all of their children. Action Against Hunger aims to reach more families to give them the fundamental help they need to let their children grow and thrive. Your donation will help Action Against Hunger reach more malnourished children around the world, providing life-saving treatment and creating awareness on available health services. We are closer than ever to ending child hunger. Proven solutions exist that are not only sustainable, but they're also cost-effective. Action Against Hunger and its partners are now reaching more malnourished children than ever before. We need to make sure every malnourished child gets the treatment they need to make sure they never become malnourished again.